Hey guys, it's February, so you know what that means. Valentine's Day is coming up. Selena's at work today, so I thought I'd surprise her and uh, cook her her favorite meal, which is a beef nabayaki udon, and uh, get her some roses and some chocolate covered strawberries. So I'm just here to film the whole thing and hopefully she's happy with the gift. So here's what we have so far, flowers. A card, chocolate covered strawberries for later, and I'm going to be making uh, udon noodles from scratch, and I'm going to try making uh, beef nabiake for the first time. So let's see if I can do it. All right, first we're gonna make the noodles. So first we gotta have uh, seven ounces of flour. So got my scale out, got the flour, got the bowl. Let's get it going. Now we want to use a weight instead of just volume because you don't want to accidentally put too much or too little flour. And according to the recipe, this is very similar to baking bread. Very few ingredients, just uh, flour, water, and salt, and then some cornstarch to prevent it from sticking together. Okay, that's pretty close. All right, next we're going to add uh, three and a half teaspoons of salt to uh, six tablespoons of water. That should be seven of these guys. One, two. All right, next we're gonna mix the ingredients and form this into a ball. And we don't wanna do it all at once because we don't want all the salt to accumulate in one area. Let's see if we can do it. And according to the instructions, it should be kind of dry. So not the same as like uh, bread dough, a little bit firmer than that. So we'll see. And that looks really dry. And the recipe says you can add a little water until it starts forming a ball. So I'm gonna go do that. All right, so here's the really dry ball. That's what they say. So now I gotta let this relax for about 30 minutes inside of a plastic bag to let the gluten relax. So let's start that now. All right, it's been half an hour, so now uh, we're gonna have to knead it and then uh, fold it and knead it and fold it until it's the right consistency. So it's a bit hard, and I guess traditionally, you're supposed to use your feet to knead it, but nah, but it is pretty tough. But I can see why they recommend stepping on it. All right, let's fold it a little. So you're supposed to fold it all together into a ball and repeat. Maybe I will step on it, it's pretty hard. We can go get the towels. All right, there's the dough on the ground. Let's start stomping. Let's fold it again. All right, there it is as a ball again. And repeat. All right, that was a workout, but I folded it several times and now we have to let it rest for two to three hours. All right, while we wait for the dough to rest for a couple hours, let's start on the chocolate covered strawberries. So right here, we're gonna be making a double boiler with some water that will be heated up to a very low uh, boiling point. Then we'll set the chocolate chips on top and we'll stir it while it's melting. And once it's all melted, we'll dip all the strawberries into the chocolate. All right, it's starting to steam a little, so let's put this double boiler together. So we wanna just keep stirring until um, all the chocolate's melted. Stirring them out. And I put a little bit of uh, vegetable oil on here to give it that like shine. We're stirring it so that it doesn't burn. All right, it's almost fully melted, so let's Shut off the heat. Let's take this off and then we'll start the dipping. So we got the strawberries right here. Let's try not to burn myself. I lined some saran wrap on this uh, tray. So hopefully that works because I did not have any parchment paper. All right, here we go. All right, just like that. We do it for all the strawberries. starting to cool down. So you gotta do this real quick. I mean, we typically only eat a couple, so we can always reheat the chocolate later. Mix more. At least we have enough to make it look nice. Oh, well, that one doesn't look nice. I'll probably eat that one myself. All right, so that's what we have for now, and I'll reheat this chocolate for future chocolate cover strawberries later. 
right, we chilled it in the fridge for about 15 minutes and uh, it's looking pretty good. It's got the nice sheen. So yeah, we'll see uh, Selena likes it. All right, so next we're gonna make the uh, base of the uh, nabayaki soup. I have some shiitake uh, dashi, which is like the stock. And then uh, for each stick, it's gonna be about uh, 450 uh, milliliters. So let's get that going. Oh, sorry, <laughs> half a stick is 450 milliliters. So we're gonna do one stick. Okay, and then should be 900 milliliters. Okay, all right, let's mix this together. Okay, we're supposed to have three and a third cups of this into the dish, so mix that first, and then I'll be putting it in a cast iron pot because I think that keeps the heat for when the soup is ready to be served. Three and a third. Now uh, we're gonna be putting some uh, mirin, which is rice wine and some soy sauce. So two tablespoons each. Okay, there's the mirin. Okay, there's the soy sauce. Now we need to add some salt, one teaspoon. Okay, all right, let's mix it all together. So it's a pretty small amount because this is only for like two serving sizes. If this actually turns out good, uh, we'll probably make more in the future with larger sizes. All right, so the dough is finally done resting. Now we're gonna start flattening it out and making the noodles. So first we wanna take the uh, cornstarch and lay it on the surface so that it doesn't stick. Now the reason we're using cornstarch is if we used flour, it would stick to the actual noodles and could cause problems. So that's what we're gonna use. Okay, now we're gonna flatten them out. Ooh, that's a workout. All right, that's the best I can do. It's still very tough. So let's cut them into noodles and then we'll start cooking the noodles. So you're supposed to fold in half so that the noodles are approximately the same length, but yeah, cut them into thin slices. I think mine are just gonna look ugly. <laughs> These are the noodles. Uh, they look really thick, so uh, yeah, we'll see how they turn out, but I'm not optimist. Yeah, I think maybe during the folding process earlier, before I let it rest, maybe I didn't do it enough. Anyway, I'm not really familiar with this type of dough because it feels a lot different than like bread dough. Bread dough is a lot stickier. Anyway, let's get cooking. All right, while we're waiting for the water to boil for the noodles, let's start cooking some of the beef. This is just your standard like sukiyaki beef. I hope this is the right beef, but I guess we'll see, huh? There we go. So we don't really want to overcook it because I think it'll cook a little inside of the um, nabayaki. So it looks like the water is boiling now. So let's put the noodles in. Don't splash yourself. For these, we're just gonna keep stirring it, make sure they don't stick, and we're gonna do that for 10 minutes. All right, so that's looking pretty cooked, but not too well done. We're gonna set it off to the side for now until the broth's ready. These are what the noodles are looking like at like the five minute mark. They are definitely thicker than uh, normal udon noodles. So uh, yeah, we'll see how they taste. All right, it's been 10 minutes. So now we're gonna take this off, strain the water, and then run it under cold water to firm it up and wash off any starch. Yeah, these are thick boys, look at them, wow. Oh, hopefully they taste okay. So making the handmade noodles were a bit harder than I expected. If you're gonna try this at home, I'd probably recommend just getting the ones from the store. We'll see how they taste. So before we start mixing everything, uh, I got some frozen shrimp tempura that I'm gonna stick in the air fryer to garnish our nabiyake udon. All right, let's start mixing everything together. So let's crank up the heat a bit to get this boiling. And I'm gonna put in the noodles, yummy. Let's get the beef too. Okay, I want to add a few eggs. I think it's like two per person, so I'm gonna add four. Let's add the fish cakes. 
and the green onions. Okay, now we just bring this to a boil and it should be ready to serve. All right, I'll show you it when it's done. All right, this is what it looks like. I mean, it could definitely be improved on the presentation, but I think for my first time trying a beef nabiyaki, it's okay. I just hope it tastes all right. But we have backup of chocolate covered strawberries, just in case. Hello. Are you cooking? Yeah. Is this dinner? Happy early Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy early. Oh. <laughs> I attempted to make beef nabiyaki, so uh, wow. I, I don't. I don't think it's gonna taste as good as uh, mido, but. Wow. Wait, this is so early. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And the flowers and the cards. Yeah. Happy early Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Aww, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No wonder you were so quiet today. <laughs> so even if it's not good, we gotta pretend it's good, right? <laughs> The noodles are great. Right mm -hmm. It's hard to roll them out. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like the flowers too? My wife, you've got my heart, you've got my back, and you've got every bit of my love. I'm so like geek to call you my wife, my friend, and my partner. 